Hello everyone, welcome to the yarn bowl. Today we are going to see how to crochet this beautiful poppy flowers made with single crochet and half double crochet stitches. This is a Veterans Day special video. I hope you enjoy crocheting this flower with me. The petals that we create are uh, rearrangeable, meaning that we can rearrange the petals the way we want. Meanwhile, if you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Also, please do not forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram to get more updates. So for this project I need a red color yarn, black yarn, scissors and 3 mm crochet hook. So with the black yarn we are going ahead doing a magic ring and chain 1 and then 12 single crochets around the magic ring and then slip stitch on top of our starting single crochet that is our first single crochet to close the ring and then you can tighten the ring and then secure it with a knot You can cut off the black yarn and then change the yarn color to red and then chain one work one single crochet on each single crochet of the previous row so at the end of this row we will have 12 stitches and then work one slip stitch on top of our starting single crochet to finish this round Now we can start working on the petals. Turn your work to the wrong side and then chain one, chain two, one half double crochet on the same stitch and then work two half double crochet on each stitch for next two stitches. So next we'll work row 2 of our petal 1, chain 2, turn your work and then work one half double crochet on the same stitch. This chain 2 is considered as our first half double crochet and then work two half double crochet on each stitch for the next five stitches. So at the end of this row we will have 12 half double crochet stitches. So we can start with row 3, chain 2, turn to the right, wrong side of your work 
and then work one half double crochet on the same stitch and then work two half double crochet on each stitch for the next 11 stitches so at the end of this row we will have 24 stitches We'll start working with row 4, chain 2, turn your work. This chain 2 is considered as our first half double crochet and then we will work one half double crochet on each stitch. So at the end of row 4 we will have 24 stitches. So this is there is no increment in the in this row. We are just going to work one half double crochet on each stitch. <music> So once this row 2 is finished, we are going to work chain 1 and do a slip stitches towards the side of petal 1 to reach to our row 2 that is our center portion of the flower. So we work slip stitches on the side to reach to the center part and then we will work chain 3 to skip 3 chains. And we work backwards so we work chain 3 to skip these three chains near this petal one so chain we're going to we need to reach to the third chain from the petal one so we work chain 3 to reach to the third chain and then turn to the wrong side and then do a slip stitch on the third chain of row 2 chain 2 one half double crochet on the same stitch this chain 2 is considered as our first half, half double crochet and then two half double crochets on each stitch for the next two stitches so at the end of this row one of petal two we will have six half double crochet stitches So next we can start working on row 2 of petal 2, chain 2, turn your work to the right side and then one half double crochet on the same stitch and then work two half double crochet on each stitch for next 5 stitches. This chain 2 is considered as our first half double crochet stitch. So for row 3 chain 2 turn to the wrong side of your work one half double crochet on the same stitch and then work two half double crochet on each stitch for the next 11 stitches so we will have 24 stitches at the end of row 3 So for row 4 chain 2 this is considered as our first half double crochet and then work one half double crochet on each stitch for the next 23 stitches so there is no increment we are just going to work one half double crochet on each stitch on the right side for 24 stitches <laughs> So 
so like we did for petal one we do work chain one and uh, work slip stitches on one side of the petal to reach to the center part of row two to start working our third petal so we need to skip three stitches on the row two that is our center part so we work chain three to reach to the third chain from the petal two and then we do a slip stitch and work chain two this is chain two is our first half double crochet for our petal three and then work one half double crochet on same stitch and then work two half double crochet on next two stitches so at the end of this row one for petal three we will have six half double crochet stitches <music> So for row 2 for petal 3 work chain 2 turn to the right side and then work one half double crochet on the same stitch and then work two half double crochet on each stitch for the next five stitches the first chain 2 is considered as our first half double crochet so now we can start with row 3 chain 2 which is considered as our first half double crochet turn your work to the wrong side and then work one half double crochet on the same stitch and then work two half double crochet on each stitch for the next 11 stitches so at the end of row 3 we will have 24 stitches <music> So for row 4 we work chain 2, turn your work and then work one half double crochet on each stitch for next 23 stitches. So starting chain 2 is considered as our first half double crochet. So work one half double crochet on each stitch till our 24, 23, next 23 stitches. So there are 24 half double crochet stitches on our row 4. So like we did before in our earlier petals, we work chain 1 and work slip stitches on one side of our petal to reach to our row 2. And then we follow the same pattern that we followed for the previous 3 petals. <laughs>
worked my fourth petal and then I don't do a slip stitch or if you wish you can do slip stitch and then you can fasten off. So this is our rearrangeable petal poppy flower. I hope you enjoyed making this with me. I hope this is simple and the tutorial was easy to follow. So here it is our uh, rearrangeable petal poppy flowers. You can uh, keep playing around rearrange the petal the way you want or uh, make the flower the way you want to look like. Try this at home and let me know your comments. Please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.